Continues negotiations on a consent decree with the city of Louisville. DOJ is looking to get the public's input on what needs to change in policing. Wave News reporter Noel Friel was at a meeting hosted by DOJ reps and tells us more about the lingering questions many people still have. Last year, the DOJ released a scathing report after its investigation into LMPD that found the department discriminates against black people, uses excessive force, and conducts searches based on invalid warrants, just to name a few. DOJ officials are now looking to hear from community members about what they believe needs to happen to rebuild trust in the department. In February, DOJ representatives and Metro government officials met to review the first draft of the consent decree and begin preliminary negotiations. While the DOJ has advised Metro government that the draft document must be kept confidential, the department is looking to get the public's input as negotiations continue. DOJ representatives were able to explain more about how the consent decree will be enforced and what the negotiating process looks like, but many community members we spoke to say they still have unanswered questions. Some are still concerned about how the consent decree could conflict with the contract the city is already under with the Fraternal Order of Police. Is that contract going to supersede the consent decree or can you do what we asked you to do and put into the consent decree that nothing in the FOP contract can conflict with the consent decree? Others say they weren't given answers about how they as citizens could report consent decree violations. As a community member, who do I report a violation of the consent decree, decree once it actually comes about. They couldn't answer that. They could not answer how do I even create a report or, you know, um, report something that I've noticed that an officer has done. As part of its investigation into LMPD, the DOJ outlined 36 remedial measures that it recommended the department take. People we talked to believe those recommendations must be a part of the consent decree. We are very clear that the 36 remedial measures need to be part of this consent decree, that they need to be responded to because they come from the investigation that the Department of Justice launched for more than a year here in Louisville. So that's got to be the top priority. You, get out of the room. Another top priority, creating a culture where LMPD officers can report violations within the department and ensuring consequences for individual officers who violate LMPD policies. I would like to see real consequences. If there is something that an officer violates, I want to see real consequences, not a suspension, not a, well, we'll transfer you to Hardin County. I want to see some real consequences. The DOJ will have four more of these meetings in the coming months. You can find that information on our website, wave3.com. Noel Friel, Wave News. Thanks, Noel.